Wix booking system tutorial. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Wix's booking system for appointments. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So first things first, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here onto Wix.com and you're just simply going to log into your account. Now, if you don't have an account, you can create one by clicking on this button right here. It's very simple. It's very easy. You don't need me to show you that, but you can go ahead and log in over here. Then you're good to go so i already have an account so let me just log in and i'll show you how you can create a booking system for yourself so when you first log in this is how it's going to look like right this is the dashboard of your website so basically what you're going to do is you're going to come over here onto all sites right so this is how it is over here you're going to have all of your websites so let's go ahead and create a website create a new website and show you how you can add a booking feature within that website so over here, I'm just simply going to skip all of these questions because they're just simply going to ask you what type of option you want, what type of application or tool do you want to add in your website. We're just simply going to skip all of this and go ahead and edit a template because I think that the template that we're going to be choosing is already going to have a booking system within that template, right? So we don't need to add that but i will show you how you can add it later on so let's go ahead and click on all templates and choose a template that we want so let's say that over here let's just pick this random one because i don't think this is going to have a template section yeah this is like a landing page under construction it basically you know shows you that it's still in working progress we can go ahead and add this website so let's go ahead and edit this website now give it a couple of seconds because the editor is loading up and once it's loaded up we are good to go all right so this is how it looks like this is the editor and over here on the left side you're going to have all of your main options all of the elements section pages and applications that you're going to be needing right so this is how the website would look like right let's for example say this is your website and let's say you have completed a website and you wanted to add a booking feature within that website and currently that website doesn't have that feature so what we can do is we can scroll down over here add a new section to this website right over here you can add over here on the left side you will have all of your main option subscribe services contact and all of that right so let's go ahead and add a blank section there you go we have added a blank section now what we need to do is come over here onto the left side and we also need to add an application so click on the app market it will open up the wix app market form over here and over here just simply search for bookings right we already have that over there and over here you will have schedulist booking over here eve booking uh, booking list and we also have wix booking as well so it is 70 dollars per month so if you want to use that you can go ahead and use that but it all depends on you now normally this is the better option right here for 17 dollars right everyone uses this option wix booking because it is by wix so you won't have any problems whatsoever so we're going to go ahead and add this to the website over here give it a couple of seconds and boom it's adding to wix booking into your website so give it a couple of seconds for it to be installed okay so this is how it looks like once it's added we can see we already have a service panel right here we can go ahead and manage all of these services by clicking on this button and clicking on manage service or we can just come over here and click on bookings and over here we can manage all of our services that we offer over here right now there if you don't want this type of page right like you don't want this page right here let me add another section just to give you an example i'll add a blank section as well right here there we go now as i said before if you don't want this type of page what you can do is just simply click on add element and now you will see you have another option called booking so this is another option that's available and over here you have your timetable view as well so you just simply drag and drop it over here within this section and you all have a timetable like a calendar right so actually let me just increase the size of this there you go so now you have a timetable event right with the calendar with dates and day monday to friday so just simply click over here and you can change the dates and date now all that's left for you to do is to add some services so to add services again just simply click on the booking option click on manage services it's going to open up the services panel right here and over here you can see you have your services available and over here on the left hand side you can see you have booking services and booking calendar 
So you click on the calendar and you can view the calendar right here. So you can add different calendars over here. You can add a section so that you can view all of your bookings on which dates they are. So within services, of course, you can add different services. So you have appointments right here. You have classes, courses. You can create a new service as well. It all depends on you. So you can start from scratch as well. So if you wanted to start from scratch, just simply click on start from scratch. Over here, you add the title of the service, what it is. It can be anything. It can be a haircut. It can be a yoga class, a painting class, course class, study, whatever it is. You can go over here. You can add the service subtitle, basically like a small introduction, what it is or what it does, what you'll be teaching. Like, you know, let's say we have a cooking class, right? Then you can say a basic cooking class. Then you can add another service, more advanced cooking class. And then you can add a chef level cooking class or stuff like that. You can add images and then you can over here add the services type. So it could be either appointment, a class or a course, right? It all depends on you. If it's an appointment, it's a one on one session that can be booked accordingly to availability. And then you have class. It's going to be a group session. And then you have a course. You can set a group session and you, the clients can book them all up front as well. And then you can add the service details, the service duration, the fixed price, the location if you want to add that. And you can even add a video conference as well. Then you can add the staff as well. Then you can add a pricing plan if you have a membership program available you can add that as well so it's pretty simple so let's go ahead and say that we this is like a cooking class and over here it'll be like an introduction to cooking we can add that cooking class introduction to cooking and over here we can set the image so you can upload your own media by clicking on this upload media button and selecting and adding your own images but for now i'm going to be using a media from wix you know like these stock footages or stock images so i'll just say cooking i'll just say that and i'll basically add an image that you know helps us define what it is so uh let's say yeah cutting lime i think that looks good we'll add that to the page it looks very basic you know cutting lemons yeah then you have in description and media options so over here you can add a description you can add a cover image and you can add like a gallery on what it you know you'll be showing people uh it all depends on you it is optional but i think if you add it it'll just give it a little bit of more touch that works better then over here you can set a category as well into what type of category it is so we'll just say cooking over here we'll click on add that's the category and then over here we'll set it as a class right and over here we can set the participants how many participants can add can you know view or participate in this session so we'll just say up to 10. 50 people are very really, that's too much right and then over here you can add the price and the amount so let's just say it's a fixed price custom price or no free or it's free it all depends on you so we'll just say starting at five dollars and we'll just say starting at five dollars yeah and then we have the business address you can add that address over there you can add a video conference option either a zoom or custom link it all depends on you you can add session to be booked you can add this session save and continue now over here scheduling a reoccurring session so over here you can pick the days on what days this scheduling is going to be done so let's say uh monday starting at 3 p.m the duration is going to be one hour location you can add that you can put in the staff or the employee or whatever you want a specific person to handle this class as well it repeats weekly as well let's say yeah and start day is going to be thursday and then you can add an end date as well uh, I don't think that it matters, but yeah, you can add more recurring sessions if you want to, but yeah, this looks good. Then you just simply save it and your session is done. Then you can add a pricing plan and you can add additional settings as well. Like, you know, online booking preference, accept online bookings, group participants, and all of that. Basically, once everything is done, just simply click on save and you're good to go. So this is how you add a services within, you know, Wix. And this is how you can add each services over here within the calendar as well. So over here, as you can see, our services, we have set up a booking, let's say a cooking class. Then you can add, as I said before, if you wanted to class schedule it, this is how it looks like, right? Pretty simple, nothing too crazy. And as you can see, 10 spots are available. It's going to be on Monday on the 18th. You can simply click on book now to book the spot. So it's pretty amazing, pretty simple, pretty cool. So this is how you do it.
I mean, this is the Wix application, right? This is Wix booking. But if you wanted to have more option or maybe explore a different application, you can explore different applications as well. As I said before, you can click on add apps on the app market over here. You can search for bookings. You will have almost 36. Yeah, 36 results for booking. So you can find each application right here and you can choose that. You can even choose schedule, book list, online scheduling and schedule. So it all depends on you on how you use it and how you deal with it so pretty simple that is it that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and having said that i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye